Well, Port Washington was one of the communities hardest hit by Sunday's downpours. Our Adriana Mendez went to the city this morning to see how things are shaping up today. As the waters continue to rage here in Lake Michigan, you can see all the debris pushed along the shoreline and spreading out into the parking lot. Now locals in this area of Port Washington are left with cleaning up Mother Nature's mess. High water levels and rushing water brought out onlookers to Port Washington's marina. Well, it's sad. You know, the uh, bluffs are taking a beating. And uh, it's not going to get any better. The lake is so high. I was thinking maybe do it some fishing, but the water's a little bit too muddy for fishing. Terry Lehman says the force of the water is truly a sight to see. Well, yesterday afternoon, there was a lot of big trees coming down through here and logs and debris. Now it's all out into the lake. This morning, city crews worked to clean up the mess left over from the storm, and most of the flooding has subsided. Over in Sockville, Brian Haifman's backyard is filled with rushing water from the Milwaukee River. His neighbor's dock just washed away. It's Normally by the tree line over there, it takes a matter of seconds for that to break loose and now it's gone. Brian says he is monitoring water levels and checking on his sub pump. He says although the water looks tempting to be around, there is power in this rushing river. When the river gets this high, this is about the speed that it has. Uh, when it's within the banks, it's a little slower and more manageable. This is not something I would recommend anyone going out into a kayak, a canoe, a boat, launching. It sound, looks like fun, sounds like fun, but not something you want to do. That, that uh, water will take you under real quick. Adriana Mendez, TMJ4 News.